Okay, so what I'm holding in my hand right here is a nuclear hazard FPV timer. So it's a rotor hazard timer, but um, it's way easier to get your hands on because typically you have to build your own 32 blue pill uh, timer and I had to source every single component in this. I had to source the PCBs, I had to get all of the resistors, all the little um, the STM32 processor blue pill board and I had to get all the VRXs and I had to solder every single pin and that wasn't fun. But this um, comes all pre-assembled. All you have to do is configure your own Raspberry Pi, which, uh, which means you also need an SD card, but then you just plug it in to this because it comes ready to go with the VRXs and the VTX boards all plugged in. And as you can see, right after I configured it, it's ready to go. And it only took me 20 minutes to set it up, which is a bunch of just copy and pasting off of their GitHub. And then what you get is this rotor hazard timer, which is crazy because you don't have to install any software on your computer it all runs off of this you just have to connect to it you have to find the ip address and you're connected to the server on this and then on the rotor hazard timer you're running your heats you're building your heats you're getting all your timing and then it's you can time anything with this you can time dji you can time hd0 analog and it keeps track of all the rssi data so if you actually miss something and like your settings aren't exactly right you can go back tune them and it'll get those laps back so uh, yeah, I'm excited to play around with this, which I'm probably going to give this one to Evan, but we can do some videos showing exactly how to set up Rotor Hazard. And yeah, this is just exciting because um, it kind of lowers that barrier to entry for being a race director. You can run a race easily now because you have a timer, and this is arguably one of the best ways to get faster because you can see where you're shaving off those milliseconds. So I'll have all the links in the description on where you can find this and uh, the Rotor Hazard GitHub and yeah, all the information you need. But yep, super excited about this.